Oh, here. Here? Yeah. Yeah, those. Okay. Now they all have the option. Six and seven. Or is one new and the other one? Is there just a one line? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, maybe it turns out to be one from. Yeah. Yes, ma'am, but what if you are not uh, fixing your painter money? Oh. I don't know why. I can't. No. And talking and it's still oh i see yeah there should be the greenish frame no yeah well it, yeah or uh -huh. it should just be uh -huh. in the center uh -huh. i don't know maybe that i updated maybe they took that out the ability to to spotlight mm -hmm. no, that would be... yeah there's the green Yeah, yours looks totally different again to the computer magnet. Yeah. Yeah, they know. It's getting used to it. Oh well. You don't want to come in the front, oh, Stina. Be shy. Mm -hmm. Help yourself. Start start with the small ones, with the short ones, yeah. Small books. The small books, yeah. Hi, welcome back, yeah, wow. Oh, don't, uh, don't, um, oh, sorry. 
I thought they were fed up for tonight. So make sure you get one of these. They're up here, the small ones. Good. Okay, welcome to all of you and online as well. We have some people online. So let's start uh, by sitting for five minutes, just centering and uh, calming our minds. As you settle into your body, then your mind starts to relax and slow as well. And we can help this process along by focusing on the breath.
And we can set a motivation for doing this practice. On the special Buddha holiday of Chokor Duchen that celebrates the first turning of the wheel of Dharma, the first time the Buddha taught when he taught the Four Noble Truths. The Four Noble Truths being the best expression of self-compassion that we can imagine. Because it talks about our own healing and our own freedom from difficulties and problems. Medicine Buddha is for healing as well, for healing ourselves, but also for bringing the Medicine Buddha energy out into the world for others. For those who are trapped by their suffering with no way out. So we can think that we're doing this Medicine Buddha practice to heal our own confusion, obstructions to enlightenment, and then also sending that energy out to help others achieve their own bliss and joy. So be sure you have one of these so you can get it. Yeah. So if you open up to the first prayer, uh, it's on page online. Oh, Let's see what's page to put on here. Page three. And the majority of this is in English, so we'll just recite it in English. Yep. Um, also, we have this really nice altar set up with all these offerings. So anytime we come to the offerings, you can visualize offering all these nice things that they put out, fruit and butter lamps and water and so forth. There's also a mandala, which represents the whole of uh, medicine Buddha's environment and world that he sees as pure and that mandala is open to all of us and then there's also the medicine Buddha sutra on top of that little mand it looks like a house little house and then there's a nice image of medicine Buddha okay namo guru muni and jaya the river of merely hearing your names makes even effigies by hellfires cool as a lotus pond. 
protectors in degenerate times, seven sugatas, and head of the shakyas to your feet above. Here's, there's a few more of these, yeah. Distracted by activities of varying importance to benefit myself and those with faith in the life stories of these seven Buddhas for degenerate times, I can condense the Ambrosia Sutra ritual to its molten essence. And then we say this refuge in Bodhicitta prayer three times. Nature incorporating the entire body, speech, mind, qualities, and activity of all the Tathagatas of the three times and 10 directions, source of 84,000 collections of dharmas, Lord of all Arya Sangha, I seek refuge in the kind and glorious holy root and lineage gurus. I seek refuge in the completely enlightened Lord Buddhas. I seek refuge in the holy Dharma. I seek refuge in the Arya Sangha. I seek refuge in the eight brothers gone to bliss, the Lord Medicine Buddhas with their hosts of retinue deities. I seek refuge in the glorious holy protectors, Dharma protector guardians endowed with the wisdom I. Nature incorporating activity of all the Tathagatas of the three times and 10 directions, source of 84,000 collections of dharmas, Lord of all Arya Sangha, I seek refuge in the kind and glorious holy root and lineage gurus. I seek refuge in the completely enlightened Lord Buddhas. I seek refuge in the holy Dharma. I seek refuge in the Arya Sangha. I seek refuge in the eight brothers gone to bliss, the Lord Medicine Buddhas with their hosts of retinue deities. I seek refuge in the glorious holy protectors, Dharma protector guardians endowed with the wisdom I. Nature incorporating the entire body, speech, mind, qualities, and activity of all the Tathagatas in three times in 10 directions. Source of 84,000 collections of dharmas, Lord of all Arya Sangha. I seek refuge in the kind and glorious holy root and lineage gurus. I seek refuge in the completely enlightened Lord Buddhas. I seek refuge in the holy Dharma. I seek refuge in the Arya Sangha. I seek refuge in the eight brothers gone to bliss the Lord Medicine Buddhas with their hosts of retinue deities. I seek refuge in the glorious holy protectors, Dharma protector guardians endowed with the wisdom I. So when they say eight brothers, they're talking about the seven medicine Buddhas. So the main medicine Buddha we have up there, and then he's got six brothers. And then the eighth one is Shakyamuni Buddha. Okay, so this next refuge prayer will say this, uh, twice in English and once in Tibetan. I go for refuge until I am enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merit from giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I am enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merit from giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. Sangge chudang so ki cho nam la jang chu bardu dak ni kyab su chi da ki jin so ki pe so nam ki dro la penchir sangge chu par sho. And then the four measurables we say three times. All sentient beings who are those self and all appearances are dharma datu by nature have not realized it thus. I shall endow with happiness and the causes of happiness. I shall separate from suffering and the causes of suffering. I shall make inseparable from happiness without suffering. And I shall set an equanimity, the cause of well-being, free from attachment, aversion, and partiality. All sentient beings who, although self and all appearances are dharma datu by nature, have not realized it thus. I shall endow with happiness and the causes of happiness. I shall separate from suffering and the causes of suffering. I shall make inseparable from happiness without suffering. And I shall set an equanimity, the cause of well being, free from attachment, aversion, and partiality. All sentient beings who, although self and all appearances are Dharma Dhatu by nature, have not realized it thus. I shall endow with happiness and the causes of happiness. I shall separate from suffering and the causes of suffering. 
I shall make inseparable from happiness without suffering, and I shall set in equanimity the cause of well-being, free from attachment, aversion, and partiality. And then special bodhicitta. For the welfare of all mother sentient beings, I need to attain complete Buddhahood. Therefore, I am going to engage in the stages of the path, such as prostrating, making offerings, and heartfelt requests, and treating the holy minds to grant blessings. To the eight brothers gone to bliss, the Lord Medicine Buddhas with their hosts of retinue deities. So we'll pause here for a moment and think about generating bodhicitta. So out of love and compassion, wishing to become enlightened in order to be able to best benefit all sentient beings. <laughs> And then we purify the place and set out the offerings to welcome the Buddhas here. To the power of the supreme truth of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas blessings, the might of the two collections and the purity of the Dharma Dhatu, may this realm's beings and environment be enriched like Sukhavati with all the desirable perfections of both samsara and nirvana. Jewel ground adorned with trees and with ponds, whose bottoms are covered with gold, silver, and pearl dust, flowers strewn and sandalwood fragrance rising, human and divine enjoyments, Samatabhadra's offerings everywhere. There, in the center of a charming jeweled palace, on lotuses and lion thrones, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas abide. May everywhere be filled with oceans of clouds of offerings which they enjoy, born through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. So during this offering cloud mantra, you visualize that the your offerings become numberless. So huge skies and oceans filled with offerings. Om Namo Bhagavate Vendrasara Bhagavate Tata Gataya Arte Sam Sam Buddhaya Taya Ta Om Bente Bente Maha Bente Kesha Bente Maha Vidya Bente Maha Bodhi Chita Bente Maha Bodhi Mandoka Sankarmana Bente Sarvakama Avara Vishuddhana Bente Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Vendrasara Pramadhane Tata Gataya Arhate Sanyak Sambhudaya Tayata Om Bente Bente Maha Bente Maha Teja Bente Vidya Bente Maha Bodhi Chita Bente Maha Bodhi Mandal Pasam Kamana Bente Sarva Kama Avara Vishodhana Bente Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Vantasara Pramadhane Tata Gataya Arhate Sanyasam Buddhaya Payata Om Bente Bente Maha Bente Maha Teja Bente Vidya Bente Maha Bodhi Chita Bente Maha Bodhi Mandalpa Sankamana Bente Sarakama Avara Vishodhana Bente Soha and then we'll do the optional extensive version at the bottom of the power of truth. By the power of truth of the three rare sublime ones, the blessings of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, the great wealth of the completed two collections, and the sphere of phenomena being pure and inconceivable, may these piles of clouds of offerings arising through transformation by the Bodhisattvas Arya Samatabhadra Manjushri and so forth, unimaginable and inexhaustible, equally in the sky, arise and in the eyes of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the ten directions be received. 
And then we do the invocation, thinking that the Buddhas all come here to um, pray with us. Compassionate protectors in degenerate times, seven sugatas, Buddha Shakyamuni, Holy Dharma, Bodhisattvas, and guardians, invited as the support and protector refuge to protect others and myself. May you come here, gather, and grant your blessings. And then we do the first of the seven limb practice. We're going to do this prayer quite a few times. And so at the end of it, we pause and meditate on rejoicing. So I'll tell you one. Ruguru, whose kindness is without equal, king of the Shakyas, Manjushri, Shantarakshita, and so on, holding in their hands this profound sutra, to the direct and lineage gurus, I prostrate. To the compassionate ones who liberate destitute beings, seven sugatas, Buddha Shakyamuni, and Holy Dharma, Manjushri, Kabjol, Vajrapani, Brahma, and Ishvara, and the Maharajas and Yakshas, I prostrate. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues, request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. So here we rejoice. So first you have to generate joy, remembering how it feels to be joyful. And then you pair that with um, positive actions that are done and we can start with ourselves. So all the virtuous actions we've ever done in our lives, anytime we were kind or helped someone else or stopped ourselves from harming others or worked on our minds, any of these moments are causes for joy. So you think about this and you generate joy in all of your virtue. And then the beseeching. Great Bhagavan, assembly, pray, listen. Seven Sugatas, just as you promised, your previous prayers will be fulfilled. During the final period of Shakyamuni's teachings, pray, show me in actuality, it is true. And then we'll make prayers to each of the individual medicine Buddhas. And then we say um, about eight lines of praise. And then we go back into that seven limb prayer. And then we talk about the promises that they made. So the promises that they made were made while they were in the process of becoming Buddhists. So while they were bodhisattvas, and they are considered to be um, fulfilled when they become Buddhas. And in particular, medicine Buddha is very applicable during these degenerate times. So medicine Buddha becomes even more powerful during this time when spirituality is not the priority for many people and it becomes even more difficult to practice. So it becomes more powerful. Um, yep, okay. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada, Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned, glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada, Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, Renowned, glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned, glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned, glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned, glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, 
renowned, glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge to the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned, glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Golden in color with mudra granting refuge, who accomplished eight prayers majestic with the glory of two accumulations. Glorious one of the Buddha field unconquered by others. To renowned glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate. In flowers of the major marks flourishing and pure, anthers of minor signs such a beautiful body. When who sees, hears, or thinks of you is glorified. To renowned glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues, request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. So here we can pause again and uh, rejoicing again. Now we can move out to those people in our family and our community who do positive actions for others, caring for those who are sick, taking in those who have difficulty in their lives, helping others out in any way, neighbors, friends, just the little kindnesses. We can generate joy in each one of their actions. I had one teacher who described rejoicing as being like when fans in a stadium go wild when their team scores a goal, that's rejoicing. Jumping up and down, shouting, clapping, so great. And then we go on through the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, prostrating, and offering. May all sentient beings such as ourselves be freed from epidemics, execution, criminals, and spirits, have faculties fully complete, have the continuum of suffering and negativities cut, not fall to lower realms, and experience the happiness of humans and gods. With hunger, thirst, and poverty pacified, may there be wealth. Without torments of body, such as bindings and beatings, without harm of tigers, lions, and snakes, with conflict pacified, endowed with loving minds, and relieved from fear as well, may we pass to fearless bliss. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus in that Buddha field, qualities complete become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors such as renowned glorious king of excellent signs and cause them to light. So at the end of the promises, we imagine all of them coming true, being actualized. So the next one, to the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, King of melodious sound, brilliant radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, King of melodious sound, brilliant radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, King of melodious sound, brilliant radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, 
I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagwan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, king of melodious sound, brilliant radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagwan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, king of melodious sound, brilliant radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, king of melodious sound, brilliant radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, king of melodious sound, brilliant radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Yellow in color with mudra of granting the supreme, who accomplished eight prayers majestic with the glory of two accumulations. Glorious one of the Buddha field endowed with jewels, I prostrate to king of melodious sound. Well adorned with jeweled moon and lotus, Wisdom expanded in mastery of all knowable objects. Endowed with a mind as deep as the ocean, I prostrate at the king, feet of king of melodious sound. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues, Request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. So here we can think about and rejoice in all the service people all over the world, the firefighters and the emergency medical people, doctors, nurses, social workers, therapists, so many people who make their lives about serving others who are in having difficulties, generating joy in each one of their actions. And then we go on. Through the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, prostrating, and offering for all sentient beings such as ourselves, may the distracted flourish in the Dharma, have wealth and goods of humans and gods, without torment at conception, be always born human, never be separated from bodhicitta, increase in virtuous Dharma, Purify obscurations and attain the happiness of humans and gods. May we be freed from being separated from the spiritual guide, from dark ages, spirit harm, death, and enemies, and from the dangers of isolated places. May we have enthusiasm for making offerings and performing ritual services. May lesser beings have samadhi, mindfulness, strength, the dharani of non-forgetfulness, and attain supreme wisdom. May tormenting fires be cooled. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus in that Buddha field, qualities complete. Become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors such as king of melodious sound and cause them delight. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, stainless, excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagwan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, stainless, excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows. I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagwan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, 
stainless, excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows. I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, stainless, excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows. I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, stainless, excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows. I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, stainless, excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows. I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, stainless, excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows. I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Golden in color like the river Sambhu with Dharma teaching mudra, having accomplished four prayers, majestic with the glory of two accumulations. Glorious one of the Buddha field incense build, I prostrate to stainless excellent gold. Paramount among golds like the gold of the river Sambhu, blazing with more radiance than a thousand suns. Body like a stainless golden stupa, I prostrate to stainless excellent gold. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues. Request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. So here we can rejoice in all the activities of all the teachers who raise and teach the children of the world, all the way from the colleges, down high school, elementary school, kindergarten, preschool, so many people taming and teaching our children. And then we go on through the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, prostrating, and offering for all sentient beings such as ourselves. May the short-lived gain longevity, the poor full wealth. May combatants come to have loving minds. May we not be without training and fall to the lower realms, but be bound by our vows and never without bodhicitta. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus and that Buddha field qualities complete, become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors such as stainless excellent gold and cause them to light. To the Bhagwan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagwan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, Supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha. Supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha. Supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha. Supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha. Supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha. Supreme glory, free from sorrow, 
I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagwan, to Tagada, Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagwan, to Tagada, Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. Did I go way over? Did I do a lot of them? No? Okay, so we're on five now. To the Bhagavan, to the Buddha, Arad, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Light red in color with mudra of meditative equipoise, who accomplish four prayers just with the glory of two accumulations. Glorious one of the Buddha field without sorrow. I prostrate to supreme glory, free from sorrow. Past beyond sorrow, attain to supreme bliss, pacifier and sentient beings, three poisons and sufferings, protector of beings of the six realms, to the glorified one, supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues, request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. So here we can rejoice in all the ordained people in the world. Today is International Sangha Day. So thinking about all the monks and nuns and priests and all over the world who have dedicated their lives to developing their own spiritual practice and preserving the Dharma and their spiritual lineages wherever they exist. And we feel great joy rejoicing that these beings have made these kind of choices so precious. And then we go on through the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, prostrating, and offering for all sentient beings such as ourselves. May sorrow and the like always be pacified and life be long and happy. May the conqueror's light increase bliss and joy in the hells. May we have brightness, beauty, and wealth unharmed by spirits. May we have love for each other and may there be no disease. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus in that Buddha field qualities complete. Become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors such as supreme glory free from sorrow and cause them delight. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed Dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed Dharma. I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed Dharma. I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed Dharma. I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed Dharma. I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. 
to the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed Dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed Dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Pink in color with mudra of teaching the Dharma, who accomplished four prayers, majestic with the glory of two accumulations. Glory is one of the Buddha field victory banner of Dharma. I prostrate to melodious ocean of proclaimed Dharma. Great sound of Dharma conquering adversaries, endowed with speech as deep as the ocean, pacifier of being sufferings without exception. I prostrate to melodious ocean of proclaimed Dharma. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated to the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues, request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. So here we can rejoice in all of the spiritual leaders, all our spiritual directors, Lama Zopa Rinpoche, Lama Yeshi, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, and spiritual leaders in other traditions who take on the responsibility of leading people out of difficulties and into joy. And then we go on to the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, prostrating, and offering. For all sentient beings, such as ourselves, may we always have perfect view and faith, hear the sound of Dharma, and be enriched with bodhicitta. For the sake of resources, may we give up negativities, may wealth increase, may we abide in love, have long lives, and be content. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus in that Buddha field qualities complete, become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors such as melodious ocean or proclaimed dharma and cause them delight. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, delightful king of clear knowing, supreme wisdom of an ocean of dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, delightful king of clear knowing, supreme wisdom of an ocean of Dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, delightful king of clear knowing, supreme wisdom of an ocean of Dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, Delightful king of clear knowing, supreme wisdom of an ocean of Dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, delightful king of clear knowing, supreme wisdom of an ocean of Dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, delightful king of clear knowing, supreme wisdom of an ocean of Dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, delightful king of clear knowing, supreme wisdom of an ocean of Dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. 
May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Coral colored with mudra of granting the Supreme who accomplished four prayers majestic with the glory of two accumulations. Glorious one of the Buddha field ocean of jewels, I prostrate to the king of clear knowing. Mind of profound Dharma wisdom, difficult to fathom, sporting in the pure sphere of truth, one who sees all knowable objects directly, I prostrate to the king of clear knowing. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged, emanated to the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues, request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. So here we can rejoice in all the political leaders who are earnestly with love and kindness serving their communities, dedicating their lives to making others' lives better through their power and their guidance and their laws, so forth. And we go on to the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, prostrating, and offering for all sentient beings such as ourselves. May the distracted be free of malice and rich in goods. May those on evil paths to lower realms attend the ten virtues. May those controlled by others gain perfect independence and all have long life. Hear the names and be virtuous. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus in that Buddha field, qualities complete, become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors such as King of Clear Knowing and cause them to light. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, King of Lapis Light, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of lapis light, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of lapis light, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of lapis light, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of lapis light, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of lapis light, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan, to Tagada Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of lapis light, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Blue in color with mudra of granting the supreme who accomplished 12 prayers majestic with the glory of two accumulations. Glorious one of the Buddha field lapis light, I prostrate to medicine guru, king of doctors. Bhagawan with equal compassion for all, whose name when merely heard dispels the suffering of lower realms. Dispeller of disease and the three poisons, I prostrate to medicine Buddha, lapis light. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated to the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues, 
request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. So here we can rejoice in all the bodhisattvas. So these beings who aren't necessarily, don't necessarily have a lot of fame or um, renown, but still are, have dedicated their lives to bringing all sentient beings out of this miserable existence and into enlightenment. And then we go on to the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, prostrating, and offering. May each and every sentient being, such as ourselves, all become like you, graced with marks and signs. May the light dispelling darkness, the enjoyment of wisdom, and skillful means be inexhaustible. May those attracted to mistaken and lesser paths enter Mahayana paths and all be beautified by their vows. May we be free from pain caused by immorality, be complete in faculties and without disease, and have abundant goods. May those disillusioned with the weakest conditions always have powerful faculties, and may we be freed from Mara's noose and perverse viewpoints. May those tormented by kings gain bliss, and those who out of hunger support themselves through negativity be satisfied with food received in accordance with the Dharma. May hardships of heat and cold be pacified and all good wishes be fulfilled. Endowed with morality that pleases the Aryas, may we be liberated. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus in that Buddha field, qualities complete. Become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors such as medicine guru, king of doctors, and cause them delight. To the Bhagwan, Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagwan, Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, Glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagwan, Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagwan, Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagwan, Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, Glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha. Glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan, Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha. Glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Golden in color with earth pressing mudra, who through the force of unique great compassion and enthusiasm became the glorious one of this, the fearless world system, I prostrate to the supreme leader, head of the Shakyas. Born in the Shakya lineage out of skillful means and compassion, unfound by others, conqueror of Mara's forces. Body as majestic as a golden Mount Maru, I prostrate to the king of the Shakyas. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues, request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. So here we can think about the incredible 
effort it took to become a Buddha and how many beings have become Buddhas all on our behalf and rejoice in all of their perseverance and eons of service and kindness and meditation and learning and all that they did to tame and train their minds and become Buddhas. How amazing. Like Lama Zopa says, wow, wow, wow. And then we go on. Pray, bless us and all beings who lack a protector to receive here immediately without exception the benefits as taught by the Supreme Teacher in the extensive sutra ritual of Medicine Buddha. Supreme lamp dispelling the darkness of ignorance, foremost of medicines alleviating suffering and disease, to the entire sublime jewel of Dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. Supreme lamp dispelling the darkness of ignorance, foremost of medicines alleviating suffering and disease. To the entire sublime jewel of Dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. Supreme lamp dispelling the darkness of ignorance, foremost of medicines alleviating suffering and disease. To the entire sublime jewel of Dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. Homage to the mother of the victorious ones, perfection of wisdom and holy Dharma of the three vehicles, who totally destroys the dark seed of suffering's cause and uproots the pain of suffering completely. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated to the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues, request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. And then let's go on. Through the blessings of the truth of the Holy Dharma Jewel, may I and all others henceforth in all our lives practice the Buddha's teachings in their entirety, exactly as the Buddha's intended. And then requesting the benefits of the practice. The conqueror's hard commitments were invoked by 36,000 sons of Sugatas, including Manjushri, Kabdral, and Vajrapani. Thus requested, they proclaim the sutra's benefits. Pray manifest all of them for me here and now, and to the worldly protector Yaksha leaders as well, as you promised to do before previous teachers to stop enemies, harmers, and epidemics pacify all conflict and increase physical and mental bliss, increase wealth, power, property, crops, and lifespan, accomplish these desired goals as we wish, and always protect us without break. So for the mantra recitation, the visualization is that we have Medicine Buddha out in front of us about the level of our forehead. We have this nice picture you can use to visualize. And you imagine you're receiving um, blue light from Medicine Buddha's heart that comes down to you healing all of your sicknesses, past negative karma, all of your obscurations to uh, the view, all of your distractions that keep you from taming your own minds. And then from your heart, so you get that three times, and then from your heart, blue light also goes out to all sentient beings all over the world to benefit them. So we'll, um, as you can see, it's easier to recite the mantra with the common pronunciation. So you have that second one, um, that's more the sound of it. And so we'll say the longer one seven times out loud together. 
And then I'll start you off on the short one and we'll do that one silently for Amala. So I'll, I'll count, you don't have to worry about counting. And you do while you're reciting, you do the, the visualization at the same time, okay. Om namo bhagavate begin se guru bider ya pravaratsaya tata gata ya arhate samyak sambudaya taya ta om begin se begin se maha begin se begin se ratsa sangate so ha. Om namo bhagavate begin se guru bider ya prabharatsaya tata gataya arhate samyak sambudaya taya ta om begin se begin se maha begin se begin se ratsa sangate so ha. Om namo bhagavate begin se guru bider ya pravaratsaya tata gataya arhate samyak sambudaya taya ta om begin se begin se ma begin se begin se raja sangate so om namo Bhagavate begin se guru bider ya prabharatsaya tata gataya arhate samyak sambudaya taya ta om begin se begin se maha begin se begin se raja sangate so om nam bhagavate begin se Guru Bider Ya Prabharatsaya Tata Kataya Arhate Samyak Sangudaya Taya Ta Om Begin Se Begin Se Maha Begin Se Begin Se Raja Sangate So Om Namo Bhagavate Begin Se Guru Bider Ya Prabharatsaya Tata gataya arhate samyak sambudaya taya ta om begin se begin se maha begin se begin se rasa sangate so om namo bhagavate begin se guru bider ya prabharatsaya Tata gataya arhate samyak sambudaya taya ta om begin se begin se naha begin se begin se ratsa sangate so ha taya ta om begin se begin se naha begin se ratsa sangate
Sayatam Bacon say, Bacon say, Ah, Bacon say, Bacon say, Ratsa Samangate Soha. And then we finish up. Guru Guru, whose kindness is without equal, King of the Shakyas, Mandushri, Shantarakshita, and so on, holding in their hands this profound sutra. To the direct and lineage gurus, I prostrate. To the compassionate ones who liberate destitute beings, to the seven sugatas, Buddha Shakyamuni, and the Holy Dharma, to Manjushri, Kabdrol, Vajrapani, and Ishvara, and the Maharajas and Yakshas, I prostrate. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, and virtues, request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. And then the request for forgiveness. Whatever I have done or caused to be done that was unprepared or degenerated or done with my deluded mind, please be patient with all of these. Whatever the beings of this degenerate age have done, of lesser merit mixed with ignorant delusions that did not fulfill the Arya's wishes, please be patient with these as well. Under the influence of miserliness, lacking in skill, having made bad offerings or faulty arrangements, O protector endowed with great compassion, please be patient with these as well. Whatever was superfluous or left undone, degeneration in parts of the ritual or whatever was forgotten, please be patient with these as well. And the request to remain. By remaining here together with this image for the sake of all migrators, may you grant us long life without illness, power and supreme attainment. Om Supratisha Vajraya Soha. And then the auspicious verses. The host of medicine Buddha deities pervading all directions of the round of space with perfection, some raining down color, multicolored lotuses, some singing songs requesting goodness, some acting to conquer Mars and obstructors, and all bestowing on you supreme good fortune. Know this full well and be very joyful, and I shall voice sweet melody expressing auspiciousness. Supreme teacher of humans and gods, touching my crown to your feet of jeweled moonlight, grants the glory of good fortune of Kamuda flowers blossoming. To Manindra, moon of expounders, I prostrate. Manjushri and great abbot Shantarakshita, Tri Songdetsen, Atisha, father and sons, second conqueror, Losongdrakpa, and so on. Through the auspiciousness of all collected good qualities of the supreme root and lineage gurus, may all negativity and degeneration be ended, and bliss and goodness increasing like the waxing moon. May it be auspicious to enjoy the glory of perfection. Accomplishing a supreme ocean of prayers invoking truth during the teachings decline for protectorless beings, who are untamed by other sun-like conquerors. Through the auspiciousness of all collected good qualities of those seven sugatas, protectors during degenerate times, may all negativity and degeneration be ended and bliss and goodness increasing like the waxing moon. May it be auspicious to enjoy the glory of perfection. Arising well from the broad lotus-like tongue of the Lord of the able ones, especially exalted even in the latter days of the Shakya's teachings, such that if performed one gains the essence of immortality's ambrosia. Through the auspiciousness of all collected good qualities of that king of the vast and profound Sutra Pitaka, may all negativity and degeneration be ended, and bliss and goodness increasing like the waxing moon, may it be auspicious to enjoy the glory of perfection. Through the auspiciousness of all collected good qualities of those children of the lineage performing the sutra ritual by simply reciting the names of the king of doctors of all realms, ten directions, 
and through the especially extensive prayers of the teacher Buddha and the Sugatas, may all negativity and degeneration be ended and bliss and goodness increasing like the waxing moon. May it be auspicious to enjoy the glory of perfection. Accomplished through the compassion mantra of the Sugatas, through faith, samadhi, and words of truth, construction of jewels, abode of the three jewels beyond the three realms, through the auspiciousness of all collected good qualities of that supreme Buddha field equal to Sukhavati, may all negativity and degeneration be ended, and bliss and goodness increasing like the waxing moon, may it be auspicious to enjoy the glory of perfection. So um, here you can think about your dedications that you may have for, um, so medicine Buddha practice is good for healing, of course, for making medicine more powerful or very effective, um, for success in any Dharma activities, um, for freeing sentient beings, um, who have passed away, who have died recently in the last 49 days, that they may have a higher rebirth. Did I get everything? That's everything. So any dedications you want to make silently, you can do that now. And then we'll say the dedication prayers. Due to the merits of these virtuous actions, may I quickly attain the state of a Guru Buddha and lead all living beings without exception into that enlightened state. May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow. And may that which, which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. Just as the brave Manjushri and Samatavaja too realize things as they are. I too dedicate all these merits in the best way that I may follow their perfect example. I dedicate all these roots of virtue with the dedication praised as the best by the victorious ones thus gone of the three times so I might perform good works. Due to the merits accumulated over the three times by myself and all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, which are empty from their own side, May the eye who is empty from its own side achieve the state of enlightenment, which is empty from its own side, and lead all sentient beings who are empty from their own side to that state as quickly as possible by myself alone. Because of all the merits of the three times created by me, all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas and other sentient beings, may there be no wars, famines, disease, quarreling, fighting, or unhappy minds. May there be great prosperity and may everything needed be easily obtained. May all the human beings in the world be guided by spiritual leaders teaching only Dharma and may everyone enjoy the happiness of Dharma. Okay, thank you very much for joining us for this puja. It was very nice and oh, Thank you so much. leading this puja and happy Sangha day. Happy Sangha day. Thank you. Um, so we have a guided meditation and light offering ceremony at 6.30. If you want to come back in an hour, we're going to do some more. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dora Mara. And thank you to all those online. We had one, two, three, four, five people online. 
Nice to see you, Stina. I got your email, so I'll, I'll answer your email when I can, okay? 